Hi there, my name is Serge. I'm very excited to read this book for you. Um, I love reading books. My kids love reading books. So I hope you have a great time and um, enjoy. This book is about emotions and feelings. And sometimes you wake up and the feeling is just not right. And this is the book about it. It's a great book. It's called The Grumpy Monkey by Susan Lang. One wonderful day, Jimpanzee woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I am not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabu. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabu. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Marabu. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabu said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lamor. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lamor. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lamor. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me, I am not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows are, uh, look grumpy, said Lamor. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy me, I am not grumpy, said Jim. Then, why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't like, uh, feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey or jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. Shout to Jim as he beat his chest. Come sit next to me. No, I want to dry your hair. Shout to Jim as he beat his chest. I am not grumpy. And he stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really, really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. Can you move to the side, love, lovely? So we can, thank you. The next yes. What's the matter? Are you grumpy, asked Jim. No, I dance with porcupines, said Norman. Look. Are you okay, asked Jim. It hurts but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman, and Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. I hope you had as... Mm-hmm, everyone's feeling better.
the grumpiness goes away. Sometimes we just wake up and are a little bit grumpy, and then the grumpiness goes away. Again. again. So I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun, and clearly my daughter had a lot of fun. Take care of yourself. Be well. Bye.